Hello, you remarkable person. Welcome to our first episode of Did You Know After Trailblazer DX. Now, we showed some really cool features during our admin keynote, Build Fast with the Salesforce platform, and I thought it would be nice to show a little bit more that we couldn't cover during that session. So, did you know that you can use Security Center to receive an alert anytime one of your users receives a permission that you don't want them to have? Let's take a look. So I'm here in the Security Center app, and there are a bunch of options here. I can do all kinds of really cool things surrounding my security, but I want to focus specifically on alert settings. So I'm going to click alert settings, and you can see that I've created a number of these, but let's create one together. Specifically, I want to create one around uh, user permissions uh, whenever a new user receives modify all data. So the first thing that I'm going to do is name this modify all data. And then I can choose uh, my metric. So all of these are my uh, permissions. So I'm going to find modify all data. Now, the trigger is users with modify all data permission. I can choose if it's greater than a number, if it increases, or if it decreases. And in this case, in this org, I am the only user that has modify all data. And all I have to do is type in that. Now, if there is more than one user with the modify all data permission in my org, I can choose an alert type. So here I'll choose either in app or email or both. And I can choose to email anyone that I want. You can enter one or more email addresses, which can be particularly helpful if you're in an org that is SOX compliant, uh, if you have a general or shared inbox for security events, um, or if you've got a team email that you and other production admins might have in an environment where all of you need to be aware of the same kind of changes. For our case, I'm just going to go ahead and say I want an in-app alert. And then I need to select a tenant. Now, this is simply the environment, the Salesforce environment that I have connected to. So I'm choosing this Salesforce environment. And now I'm going to click Save and Activate. Once I have saved and activated, I now have the Modify All Data alert setting as a part of Security Center. So whenever somebody logs in, if they've been granted modify all data, and that raises the number of users in our org that have modify all data from greater than one to two or three or four, I will receive an alert. And then also I'll be able to check on these things in my dashboard. So let's go ahead and take a look at permissions. We're not gonna see a lot of results here, but I just want you to see that I can check all of these uh, different permissions. Aha, look at that. We've got a change count. We've got a change count. We've got a change count. So there are actual changes that we're able to monitor here. We went from zero to one and then, yeah, cool. Well, isn't that neat? I can also filter by the dates down at the bottom of this window, but that concludes the very easy way to set up alert settings if you use Security Center as a part of your Salesforce instance. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Did You Know? Very excited to see you here the next time around. Um, and until then, have a whole lot of fun learning some new configuration in your instance. We'll see you later. Awesome, man.